In Ducoin, Illinois, Bill Houghton faced a challenge that had frustrated his great talents throughout his career. Although he had won virtually every other classic in the sport, the Hamiltonian for three-year-old trotters had escaped and tormented him. This year, it appeared it would elude him again, for his major hopeful, Christopher T., had failed to fulfill the bright promise of his two-year-old form. As expected, Neville Diamond won the first elimination mile in the $160,000 race. Here they come. They're off and trotting, driving out fast, Noble Flory. Journalists were young Peter Houghton and down along the rail, Lincoln's Noble. From the outside, Neville Diamond. Around the turn, journalist has the lead, Noble Flory. Second, Neville Diamond. Third, Lincoln's Noble. Fourth, and Keystone Gabriel with Bill Houghton driving fifth on the outside. Around the first turn, Neville Diamond drives up to challenge Noble Flory for the lead. Journalist is third, and Lincoln's Noble fourth. Coming on the outside now, Keystone Gabriel as they move to the quarter mile mark. Past the quarter at 29 and 1 fifth seconds, Neville Diamond is the leader, and on the outside it's Keystone Gabriel to the front. Keystone Gabriel shows the way down the back stretch. Neville Diamond is second. Noble Flory third. Journalist fourth. And now Neville Diamond's on the move again. Lincoln's Noble fifth. Missile Speed sixth. Armbro Uso seventh. Buckeye County. eighth. Lamont's Chip is ninth. Aragon Hanover tenth. And Armbro Oxford trails the field as they go to the half mile mark. At the half at 59 and 1 fifth seconds. And now Lincoln's Noble moves up on the outside to challenge. It's Neville Diamond in front. Keystone Gabriel trotting powerfully down along the rail in second. Lincoln's Noble third on the outside and racing in fourth as journalist down along the rail. Neville Diamond leads the way for Stan Dancer. Down on the inside, Keystone Gabriel and Bill Houghton. As they come to the three-quarter mile mark, Lincoln Noble is still third. Past the three quarters in 1.30 and they turn for home. Neville Diamond is still the leader. Keystone Gabriel is second on the inside. Armbro Uzo moves up now and journalists down along the inside and they're in the stretch. It's Neville Diamond leading the way two and a half lengths. Racing second, Keystone Gabriel with an eight to go. Then journalist Noble Flory and Armbro Uzo coming on. Through the lane, Neville Diamond winding out the lead by four lengths. In second, Keystone Gabriel, Armbro Uzo gets up to third and journalist is fourth. The mile in two minutes and two fifths of a second. Then, suddenly, in the second elimination, Christopher T. came to life. They're off and trotting, driving out fast, sing away Herbert. Christopher T. on the outside, Spitfire Hanover down along the rail, and Stott Split, Golden Sovereign, and Anvil. Around the first turn, sing away Herbert gets the lead. Christopher T. is second on the outside. Spitfire Hanover trotting third. Stott Split is fourth on the outside, Anvil fifth. Golden Sovereign is sixth on the outside. My Super Pride seventh along the rail. Racing an eighth is Express Pride as they get to the quarter. Christopher T. in front at the quarter in 29 and two fifths seconds. Stock Split moves up second on the outside. And I let him go going to the half. Uh, my intention was to just try to get a good position. My horse hadn't been good and I didn't feel that I could use him too hard and have any chance at all. Golden Sovereign powering his way up on the outside is third now. Christopher T. down along the rail. Golden Sovereign is second and going on the challenge. Stock split for the lead. It's Golden Sovereign on the outside taking command at the half mile mark. 59 seconds flat. Golden Sovereign in front, driving up on the outside. Singaway Herbert is now second. I almost came out here to follow Singaway Herbert, but I was afraid to do it because horse just hadn't been that good. My super pride on the outside. Singaway Herbert has moved up to challenge Golden Sovereign for the lead. It's Singaway Herbert on the outside, Golden Sovereign on the inside as they round the turn. Express Pride is third, Stock Split fourth, My Super Pride fifth, Christopher T is sixth. Anvil is trotting seventh as they come to the three quarters. Golden Sovereign on the inside, on the outside, Singaway Herbert, My Super Pride is coming on. I started through along the rail and then Stock Split came right back over and shut me off, as you can see, and then I still, now I came out the other way around Singaway Herbert and almost got shut off by Anvil, who was coming around from the outside. Once he got loose, he had plenty to go on. Christopher T getting up. It's Christopher T, Golden Sovereign, on the outside, Anvil, Singaway Herbert, and Stock Split, the mile in one minute, 59 and four fifth seconds. Was it possible Christopher T could repeat? To capture this great race, a horse must win two heats. 
Horton himself had doubts and tells about his drive in the final mile. This was the start, and of course, Stanley drew the rail, and I had second. That's Natalie Diamond and myself going out of there. And then I, I went just enough to drop back in and keep anybody else from getting in the hole and followed Stanley. Anvil, third on the outside. Racing around that turn in fourth is Christopher T. as they go to the corner. Keystone Gabriel is fifth. In sixth is Stock Split. Then comes Golden Sovereign, seventh as they get to the quarter mile mark and driving up for the lead is Anvil. Anvil powers up, is in front at 28 to 3 fifths seconds. Neville Diamond is out of third and driving. Despite that very fast first quarter, Neville Diamond's on the move on the outside. He rushes up and takes the lead. Anvil is now second. Singaway Herbert is trotting third and Christopher T is fourth. Racing in fifth down the back stretch is Keystone and Gabriel as they go to the half. Stock Split is sixth. Golden Sovereign is seventh. Racing in eighth is Journalist as they pass the half mile mark. And then Noble Flory. And they move to the half in 58 and 3 fifths seconds. Now, Singaway Herbert again moves out. And this time I did move out and follow him because I was a little braver this time, being my horse race so well the first time. And of course, again, I'm getting a perfect trip. Herbert is second on the outside. Anvil is third down along the inside. Racing fourth on the outside is Christopher T. Coming on at the three-quarter mile mark. Stock split is fifth. Driving up on the outside comes Golden Sovereign in sixth. They're coming to the three-quarter mile mark. And with the lead is sing away Herbert. Just past the three-quarters now. Almost in the stretch. And I moved him on out by sing away Herbert. And uh, he just trotted on home free. Sovereign on the outside. Down to the lane, Christopher T. Stock Split is driving up now. They come to the lane. Christopher T. and Stock Split on the outside with Anvil. But it's going to be Christopher T. winning the Hamiltonian. Christopher T. in second, Stock Split. Anvil is third, Golden Sovereign. The mile in 158 and three. Bill Houghton has won his first Hamiltonian. It was a victory that Houghton didn't expect. Was it true he almost didn't start Christopher T in the big race? Well, that's about it. He went such a bad race at Indianapolis. I was in third position all the way, never left the fence, and finished seventh. And uh, I said to Mr. Throw after the race, I'd leave it up to him. And he said, well, we've been this far, we might as well go all the way. And that's the only reason. Had I been paying the starting fee and he'd been my horse, I doubt very much if I'd have started. 